everybody. I've currently been trying to work on uh, producing HHO using the Bedini and I'm going to show you some of the modifications I've made to my Bedini and the cell I've made which you can see here. Um, the cell I'm using is six plates, four by four inch uh, very high grade, I think it's 316L grade stainless steel. That's a really nice set of plates. Got stainless steel bolts and um, they have nylon. Sorry, say, yes, stainless steel bolts and nylon nuts, which are pretty good. And they've got nylon washers separating them. Currently, um, the outer plates are positive and negative, and all the inner plates on four are neutral plates. And I've got this coke bottle here acting as a bubbler. Um, so the Bedini, I've made a few changes. This is currently running two by far wound coils. So I'm driving. It's the same circuit. You can see neon two N three O five five and a one K pot because the five hundred ohm ones are too sensitive and they just blow up. Um, yeah. It's a standard Bedini but running two coils. So they both fire. The rotor here is three magnets, double stacked. So there's two double stacked Neos. And it's so it's like that. It's got some really nice smooth it's actually a wheel from a uh, professional grid race remote control car, so they've got really good bearings and it just fits on the shaft in the middle. I should explain that this is actually a really, really... Everybody's been saying that they're a very low top when they act as a motor, but this is actually quite powerful. It's got quite a fair bit of torque um, because it pulses six times per revolution. So it does seem quite torquey. And it's fairly quick as well. So I'll give you a quick spin up. I've got the hydrogen fuel cell and the plates connected in with the output of the Bedini series in the output so the output goes to the fuel cell and then comes across over to the secondary battery there on this wire so this is what I've been up to I haven't posted a video for a while so I'll show you it spun off anyway and we'll see what kind of production we get I will note that this cell performs exceptionally well when connected just directly to the mains, but it, it blows 13 amp fuses, so I need a more permanent method. But here we go anyway. So as you can see it runs at a fair speed and it's quite talky. But it doesn't produce much hydrogen at all. In fact it's barely, you know, it's barely even registering. Um, direct power into this cell produces quite a fair amount, so um, I don't think that this is something that is gonna give much power unless I have more coils. So I'm thinking I need a more permanent power source, just these pulses aren't enough at the moment. I'm going to move into perhaps winding more coils. Um, please comment if you feel that you can add any information or if you have a good way of maybe internally connecting some of the plates of my cell um, without having shorts and bad wires etc. 
because unfortunately I only have tabs at the top you can see here on the two hour plates but they're a fantastic plate design anyway they produce a lot connected to just the mains there's a very high amount of production that comes off the plates so yes that's my uh, work so far comments questions please post below and I'll get back to them thanks for watching 